Well, hi guys, it's Alyssa, and I'm back with another reading for y'all today. So, um, today's topic is your person's actions versus their true feelings. Um, this is a little bit similar to the illusion versus reality reading that I did a couple months ago, um, but this is more about like your person's behavior towards you, um, what they're showing you on the surface, whether or not that aligns with their true feelings and intentions for you. You follow me? Okay, so um, we've got four piles of cards to choose from. Uh, within each of these piles, we have four cards representing your person's actions, what they're showing you, and four cards representing how they really feel. Um, and then for each pile of cards, we also have one outcome card. So you can kind of get an idea of where your connection to this person is going currently. So for group one, um, I've got markers on each of these piles to help you choose. For group one, we have this sea green marker. It looks a bit more blue on the camera, but I promise it's sea green. For group two, we have light brown. It's kind of a kind of a tan, light brown color. For group three, we have purple. And group four is the yellow marker. So I will give you guys a moment to make your choices and then we'll get started. All right, group one, we're going to start with your person's actions towards you, what they're showing you, how they're behaving on the surface. So for this, we have have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. We have the romance card. And we have the hermit reversed with justice. So on the surface, you know, it's looking like this person definitely is um, showing you a great deal of like romantic interest. Um, I mean, the romance card, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, justice can relate to marriage and commitments. Uh, more generally speaking, though, this card is just about choices. It's about fairness, equality, um, have faith in your dreams makes me think that this person may be expressing to you, um, like big goals, big plans for this relationship. Uh, the hermit in the reverse position kind of talks about uh, you know, in the upright, this is like isolation, this is like someone going within, but with it being in the reverse, it has more this energy of, you know, someone kind of coming out of a, a state of isolation or, you know, coming forward in a situation, um, being more willing, more open to really connect with others. So I get the impression that you and this person in the past maybe we're in a situation where you didn't have a lot of contact with each other or things were just a little bit rocky. Um, and I get this sense that now things have improved. Um, this person does seem to have made an effort to open up to you a bit more, to get closer to you. Um, like I said, I'm definitely getting uh, expression of you know, romantic interest and expression of optimism for the future of this relationship. And it may seem like this person actually has chosen you, okay? So, um, I'm getting that this, this person is, uh, probably giving you a lot of hope for the future of this relationship.
So let's see if that is really how they're feeling, if that's really something um, that they're being truthful about. You know, if if they really do have intentions of taking this connection further. So um, for their true feelings, we do have the tribe card. We have this card, which says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. We also have here the three of swords reversed and the nine of pentacles reversed. And for your outcome card, we've got healing family issues. So um, the Romance Angel Oracle cards, I typically don't interpret super literally. Um, in this case, this is just talking about healing in general. Um, so, as I said, uh, it does look as if this person's expressing a lot of romantic interest in you. Um, it wouldn't surprise me at all if you're actually involved in a relationship with this person right now, like if there actually has been a commitment. Um, and it looks to me like this person really does seem to have genuine feelings for you. Um, I mean, this card's pretty self-explanatory. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Um, even if it's not... Even, even if their feelings aren't quite that intense or quite that deep, um, you know, I, I still get a lot of love from this person, and I still get that... There's potential for their feelings for you to become that deep to become that significant does that make sense the tribe card does talk about feelings of connectedness uh this card relates a lot to soul connections soul family soul mate relationships um so you know it comes up a lot when someone is dealing with people who they just feel very connected to they feel like you know, they found the place where they belong. Um, so I do get the sense that this person really, truly does feel as though you are the person for them. Like, you are someone who makes them feel safe and comfortable and loved and content. And, um, like I said, lots of, lots of loving energy. The Three of Swords here is in the reverse. So when this card comes up in the upright position, this is usually about, you know, grief, betrayal, heartbreak. It's a very intense, very heavy card. Um, in the reverse position, however, it is usually um, like coming out of that kind of energy, coming out of those feelings of heartbreak, grief, uh, overcoming sadness and in this context I actually get a, a like a, a vibe of reconciliation here with this card like I mentioned a few minutes ago I, I get the sense that there has been some like difficulty within this connection like there's been some <sighs> bumps in the road for the two of you and you have now, you know, kind of come back together. Like I said here, this person has sort of come back towards you, come forward, and you've sort of made the the choice, the mutual decision to, you know, try to work things out. Justice actually can also talk about an apology being made, you know, wrongs being made right. That's what justice is. Um, so... Yeah, I get a very uh, how do you how do I say that? Recons an energy of reconciliation. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know the um, like adjective version of the word. I know there is one, but you know I wasn't an English major, so. Um, but yeah, I, I get these, I get the sense that you and this person have recently reconciled or you're very much, um, on the path to reconciliation, um, you know, working through problems, working through conflict and this person is showing you that they're very optimistic about things working out and 
that seems to be the truth of how they're feeling. They really are um, as hopeful as they appear to be on the surface. The Nine of Pentacles here in the reverse is, it's throwing me a little bit because this energy is um, kind of unstable. There's a little bit of a feeling of uncertainty with this card. You know, in the upright position, this is like independence, self-sufficiency, stability. Um, it has a very content, very satisfied kind of vibe. Uh, in the reverse position, it's almost like the opposite. It can talk about the feeling of just almost like almost like someone's feeling like they're walking on eggshells a little bit or um they just they just aren't really sure uh or they aren't feeling super confident about something which is interesting because this person you know like i've already talked about seems to be feeling truly quite hopeful about this relationship but they might be a little bit unsure about how realistic or how feasible um, what they want really is going to be. Like, I'm seeing here that they want to be with you, like they want to work things out with you. They want a reconciliation, they want to move past the problems, the conflict, the tension, whatever. But it seems to me like they may be a bit, there, there's part of them that that is a little bit fearful that it's, it's not ultimately going to work out. Um, and I think that's what the Nine of Pentacles here in the reverse is talking about. Um, but for your outcome card, we do have the Healing Family Issues card. Um, so like I said, this is really just talking about healing in general. So as an outcome, this is showing me that, you know, based on the current trajectory of the situation, the most probable thing to happen is the two of you um, being quite successful in healing your issues that you had or have with each other. Um, this is showing me the two of you uh, moving forward, moving on from whatever it is that was creating a wedge between the two of you or whatever it is that led to the separation or, you know, the lack of communication. I do get the sense that there has been a lot of um, grief and hard feelings in this situation in the recent past. Um, I get that both of you are starting to let go of them. Both of you are making the effort to move on from them, to release any negativity, any hard feelings that you still might have towards each other. But there is still more work to be done, right? I think your person really recognizes this. And so they are, even though they have a lot of love for you and they they want very much for things to work out. Um, they they seem to be just a little bit, a little bit fearful, a little bit uncertain that it won't. But it's looking, you know, things things are looking pretty bright for the two of you. I I do think that ultimately things are going to work out, and this connection is going to be healed and the two of you are going to be able to move on together okay so i think you do have good things in store with this uh individual that you're thinking about and group one those are really all the messages that i'm getting for you today so um that's your reading i hope this resonated i hope that this was interesting um this is a general reading so it's not going to apply to every person who sees it. Take what um, applies to your situation and leave the rest behind. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I see you next time. Bye! Alright, so group two. 
we are going to take a look first at what your person is showing you, what their actions towards you are, what kind of energy they're putting uh, your way. The first card we have here is nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. Next we have trust. And the king of, sorry, the knight of cups and the queen of wands. So let's talk about these cards first before we get into um, their true feelings, their true intentions. What this person is showing you on the surface is that, first of all, I get with the knight of cups that um, this card often represents offers or messages of love. Um, it can represent, you know, somebody offering to start a new relationship with another person, okay? And with this being a knight, it is, it's typically, you know, a more substantial offer than like the page of cups might represent. So usually the knight would represent an offer to be a bit more exclusive or a bit more committed than a page level offer would indicate. Um, so I'm getting that this person is expressing to you a lot of romantic interest. I feel like they're expressing to you that they are very attracted to you. The Queen of Wands is a fiery, passionate kind of energy. I also relate this card to wish fulfillment, um, getting things that you want. It seems like this person is expressing to you that you know, they're very attracted to you. Maybe they're saying that you are what they're looking for in a partner. You're someone or something that they want. And I do get the sense that they're showing you a lot of just, you know, very um, passionate, fiery kind of energy. So you and this person may actually have some type of physical relationship. I get the sense that for some of you, not all, but for some of you, this might actually be a friends with benefits type of arrangement. Um, but whatever the case is, even, you know, even if you don't have a physical relationship with this person at this point in time, I do feel that they are, I want to say leading you on a little bit. I want to say they might be making you promises or telling you that you're going to move forward together. You're, you're going to take this relationship to the next level. Um, but they might be saying, you know, we're going to do this, but I'm, I'm just not quite ready yet. Or, you know, the circumstances of my life, you know, it, it's, it's just not feasible with what's going on with me right now. I need some time to sort things out or, you know, I need some more time to really think, think things through here. Um, but I, I just get this impression like this person has been implying that your relationship is going to become more serious but things have been coming up things have it, it, it's like it's just kind of been one thing after another um reasons for it not to go to the next level does that make sense so like for example maybe this person has told you um I, I need to focus right now on school or my career and I have be, because I have some big project that I need to to be working on once I'm done with this big project then I can put more effort and more time into our relationship then things will become more serious but then the project is finished the project gets completed but then something else comes up that is like preventing them from uh, really putting their all into your relationship does that make sense it's just like they keep finding reasons to keep your connection stagnant do you follow me um, nothing is yet set in stone this is like 
they're they haven't said that they're not gonna commit but they haven't really um, for some of you they haven't explicitly stated that they will either so I feel like a lot of you are just kind of in in this state of like limbo right now with this person it's like they they don't want to commit but they don't want to not commit at the same time the trust card uh, this suggests to me that you know they're they're telling you like you can trust me like this is something that will happen eventually I just don't know when does that mean <laughs> do you know what I'm saying um, So when I said that it, it feels like this person is kind of leading you on, I mean that's that's what I'm that's what I'm feeling. Cause I, I get the sense that most of you who are watching want something more substantial, you want something more serious with this individual, and they're telling you that they want the same thing, or they're well, for some of you they're not they're not really saying that, but they're letting you think that, if that makes sense. Um, but they haven't actually done anything to, you know, actually commit or actually take things to the next level. So let's see what their true intentions are, their true feelings towards you. Um, we have here Fork in the Road. This card talks about a choice. We have this one which says don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others we also have the four of cups reversed and the wheel of fortune so um i get the sense that this person we're talking about and your outcome card is very soon um i get the sense that this person we're talking about here actually is kind of undecided about what they really want out of this relationship or what they really want from you where they want things to go because we've got we've got three cards here that talk about making a decision fork in the road is pretty self-explanatory this is like what path are you going to take um this card don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do and we have this card which says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now this person is um this person doesn't know what their intentions are again they they haven't okay let me put it this way it's it's not that this person is you know being deceptive or lying to you um about taking things further because that's something that they're open to but they haven't really they haven't really made the decision that that that's really what they want either um, the four of cups actually also talks about uncertainty um, when this card is in the reverse position it can talk about you know somebody like starting to come out of a an apathetic um, kind of energy and getting to a point where they are ready to make a choice about something or ready to take some kind of action um, in the upright position it's it's boredom it's apathy it's it's contentment to just kind of stay right where you are and and make no changes and do nothing <laughs> um, with this reversed I do feel like this person is wanting to make a choice here but they're not sure what the right decision is going to be the wheel of fortune tells me that they know they need to do something um, the Wheel of Fortune talks about change and movement, and it relates to endings. They know that they have to put an end to this, like, the, basically the current um, cycle that the two of you are in. 
you guys have been it's like your relationship has been stagnating for quite some time now and they know that they recognize that they want to put an end to that stagnation but they don't know if walking away is the best way to end it or if actually committing and doing something is the best way to end it they're really um this person is really un uncertain of what they want. I get the sense that they really don't want to disappoint you because I feel that they do in on on some level they they really do care about you and they really do have feelings for you. But they also I think are in a place where they you know, their, their own wants and their own needs and goals are kind of like at the top of their list of priorities. It's, it's kind of like they are in a place right now, they're in a mindset where they just kind of want to have fun and they just kind of want to do what they want to do and they don't really feel like they want to be tied down to a particular person. But at the same time, I think they're afraid of disappointing you. I think they're afraid of actually like hurting you. And that's, I think that's why they're so undecided on this, on what their intentions are. It's like they know they have to do something. They know they've got to do something. But they're afraid of a conflict happening. They're afraid of things blowing up in their face. But I think they're also afraid of making the wrong decision for themselves. I really want to say that, you know, they're, they're leaning more towards just kind of letting go of this connection just because this card is um you know it says don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do they would feel guilty i think if they chose to walk away from this connection after you know all of the things that they have said to you all of the all of the time that you spent together all of the suggestions and the implications that things are going to move forward together um, they would definitely feel guilty, they would feel bad if they made the choice to walk away from this. But I think they're also feeling like that would be the decision that would be um, most beneficial to them. Like that would be the choice that would, you know, really align with what they truly want or like what would truly make them content. And like I said, it's it's not that this person doesn't care about you. I feel like this person just kind of has, uh, I, I mean, I feel like they have a lot of growing to do. I feel like they have a bit of an immature kind of self-centered outlook on this whole situation. Um, and so they don't really, how do I want to say this? their main concern is their own happiness right so while they do care for you it's like their own wants and their own their own happiness is is a priority over yours So as far as your outcome is concerned, um, based on the current trajectory of this situation, it's looking like this person is going to make a decision very soon um, because they are in the process of deciding what 
what they want, what's what the best option for them is going to be. Um, I do feel that for the majority of you watching this, they are probably going to make the choice to let go, detach themselves from this connection, unfortunately. Um, for some of you, I do see them making the decision to actually commit and like follow through on some of the things that they've been telling you, but I think for those of you that that's applicable to, um, the person you're asking about is probably see it's it, it's kind of tough because this obviously is a general reading <laughs> um, if if the person you're asking about if you know them to be kind of immature if they are you know young ish like 20s maybe early 30s then you know more than likely they're going to make the choice to kind of pull away whereas if you know this person to be what's the word i'm looking for if if the person you're you're thinking of is older so you know 30s 40s up um, and or if you know for a fact that they are um, generally true to their word, if, if you know for a fact that they um, try to go through with things, then more than likely they will follow through on the promises or, you know, the, the things that they've been telling you. And if that's the case, you know, if, if you do know this person to be a generally truthful individual, um, then I think the problem really is just that they haven't had the time or energy to really invest in this relationship. If that's the case, you know, then um, it's not that they've been just trying to lead you on, but I do feel like maybe they've been trying to hold on to this connection until they've been able to get to a place in their life where they have um, or they feel more confident in their ability to really invest in this but uh, I, I feel that that's really only applicable for a fairly small number of you who chose this group I think for the majority um, this person is probably going to end up pulling away um, But it's, I mean, as an outcome, this is not a super specific card. Um, clearly decide what you want. So, yeah, for, for, for most of you, I think they're going to decide to just kind of keep to themselves, to pull away from this connection. Um, and, you know, that might not be what you were hoping to hear, but I think that... For a lot of you, you're probably going to be better off, to be perfectly honest. Um, just based on this person's um, overall, overall energy, overall, like, intentions. So, um, that's what I have for you, group two. This is just a general reading, like I said, so take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. If none of this resonated with you, then it wasn't your reading. Um, thank you for joining me today. I hope I see you next time, guys. We're going to move on to group three. Oops. This card fell out of it. Okay. So, group three, we're going to start by talking about what your person is showing you, what they're expressing to you, um, how they're behaving towards you, the surface level stuff. Um, so, the first card we have here is Supermoon. Emotions are running high. We have Reconsider. And we have... The Devil reversed and the King of Pentacles also reversed. 
So this is interesting. Um, right away, I get this sense that this person you're thinking about has been almost like trying to push you away. Um, you know, emotions are running high. This card suggests um, some some degree of conflict or some amount of you know heated uh, energy between the two of you. I feel like maybe you've had arguments recently. Maybe you are at odds with each other at this point in time. Uh, reconsider is fairly self-explanatory. This suggests to me that the person you're asking about has been giving you, you know, either a very like non-committal kind of energy or they have outright, you know, expressed to you a lack of interest or, you know, uncertainty about your connection. The Devil reversed and the King of Pentacles reversed. Um, this card suggests a real lack of stability. It suggests a lack of commitment. Um, you know, in the upright position, it has an opposite meaning. It's security. It's, uh, you know, a high level of commitment. It's someone who really has things together, who really knows what they want. Um, and knows how to be successful in getting it, whereas in the reverse position, it implies to me that your person has been, again, expressing a lot of either uncertainty or outright um, disinterest in, like, making this connection work or investing anything into this connection. Um, the devil in the reverse is... Uh, you know, typically this card is about isolation, feelings of being trapped. Uh, it can represent toxic relationships, addictions, mental illness, any kind of situation where a person feels very stuck and it's like a, it, it, some kind of unhealthy or dysfunctional um, thing going on. When it's in the reverse, it's not quite as intense, okay? So... It's not really saying to me that I, I get from this card that the the person you're thinking of is showing you that they don't see how things can move forward or they don't see how things can be fixed, which is interesting. Um, it's like they're trying to make you believe or they're trying to make you think that this connection is impossible or that it is so unlikely to work out that, you know, what's the point of even trying? Or they're just expressing a lot of, like, strong emotions, um, like, I want to say emotional instability, almost. So, I kind of touched on this earlier, but they might be, you know, arguing with you a lot or picking fights with you. Um, so, that's kind of weird. Um, let's see what their true feelings or intentions are. Um, first of all, we have the No Place Like Home card reversed. We have power. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. We also have the King of Swords and the Lover's card. And your outcome card is you deserve love. So, um, what I get here is that, unfortunately, it looks like your person's true feelings and their true intentions match up pretty well with what they're showing you. Um, no Place Like Home in the reverse position talks about feelings of not belonging, feelings of not fitting in. It's very possible that in the past this person felt like the two of you got on really well, the two of you fit together quite nicely, but now things have changed, something is different, they don't feel as connected to you anymore, they don't feel like this connection is right for them anymore. There's a disconnect there. Um, 
the power card, you know, this card talks about saying no. It talks about walking away, um, you know, having or, or like reclaiming your power over a situation, trying to take control, trying to take charge of things. Um, it definitely seems to me like this person wants to let go of this connection. The lover's card, this can talk about union, it can talk about partnerships, but it can also talk about choices. So, you know, given the other cards that are coming up here, I'm seeing a disconnect between you and them. I'm seeing a lack of emotion that this person has for you. And so what this card shows me, rather than a partnership, it shows me someone making a choice to I want to say making the choice to to cut this thing out. The King of Swords is truth, it's honesty, which first of all um, implies to me that what this person's telling you is their truth. They're they're not it's like they're not trying to be deceptive. They're not trying to um, use like reverse psychology on you. It seems to me like they're what they're saying is really what they mean. Um, and and this card says to me, you should believe what this person tells you because they're being honest. They're giving you their truth. And um, swords also have a very harsh uh, cutting kind of energy. I relate them a lot to, you know, cutting out things that aren't serving you, cutting out things that you don't need, that aren't necessary in your life. Um, and they also have a very unemotional energy to them. So, uh, as I mentioned, there seems to be a lack of feelings on, on this person's part towards you. Um, the feelings that do exist are not great. Like I said, there's feelings of just discomfort, not belonging, like you don't fit together. And there's feelings of dissatisfaction and discontentment. Um, <clears throat> so it seems to me like this person wants to make the choice to basically move on and find find a place where they do feel like they fit in find something or someone that they can connect to because it's you know they're feeling like this isn't it at least not anymore also the imagery on this card is really standing up to me. We have these two birds, these two geese, like, flying away. And I just kind of see this as this person wanting to, like, break free and fly away from something, fly away from this situation. Um, the devil in the reverse can also talk about breaking free of a situation where you feel stuck, breaking free of something that's not good for you, something toxic. And that's not to say that your connection to this person is necessarily toxic or dysfunctional or unhealthy, but I do get the sense that they're not really happy with it. I, I think maybe in the past they did care about you a lot. Well, I feel like they still do care about you, but there's not a, there's there's not really love there that I'm feeling. There's not, um, you know, like I said, that connection that they used to feel seems to be gone. It seems to have really faded, and now there's this, like, there's this wedge between the two of you. They're just, it, it's like they're just not feeling this anymore. Um, and so what they really want, I think, is to just, like separate themselves but possibly for some of you I want to say that they're trying to push you away from them they they don't want to come right out and say 
I'm not happy here or say I want to end this or I'm leaving you know it's it's like they want to or they're trying to get you to be the one to end this or to walk away from them because it would make them feel basically it would make them feel less guilty and I think their thought process also is that it might it might be less painful for you if you know in your mind you're the one to end things to walk away does that make sense for your outcome card you have you deserve love um this is basically showing me that based on the current trajectory of this situation um really really this talks to me about you finding someone who or okay let me back up this is this isn't so much an outcome card as it is advice for you i think um the outcome to me is pretty inevitable i i feel like at some point this connection is just going to kind of fall apart um and at that point you know this card is saying to you it's okay to grieve this connection the loss of this relationship however you have to understand that you deserve better you deserve to be with someone who is sure about you you deserve to be with someone who is actually going to want to invest in you who's actually going to treat you well and love you and it's like this person that we're talking about doesn't seem to have those types of feelings um and so because they don't have those feelings they're not going to be able to give you what you want or deserve to have in a partner does that make sense so just because this connection doesn't look like it's going to work out like it's not your fault necessarily it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you it just means that this isn't the right person for you at this time in your life and you deserve better and you will find better okay group three so um that was a little bit heavy and i'm sorry because whenever i, I get a message like this there's always inevitably people crying in the comments and it makes me feel bad but then there's also usually people who are like thank you this is exactly what i needed to hear so um you know what whichever of those camps you fall in i hope that this at least resonated with you and i hope it was at least somewhat helpful to you um thank you for joining me today i really appreciate it uh i hope i see you next time bye All right, so lastly, we have group four. Um, group four, we're gonna start by talking about what your person is showing you on the surface, what their actions are, um, what they're projecting your way. So for that, we have first here, bring love into the situation. We have in the near future and Queen of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. So um, the first thing that I get with these cards is that your person does seem to be showing you or, you know, sending your way a lot of warm, loving energy um, and also a lot of optimism. I feel I get the sense that this person um, is expressing to you a lot of hopefulness for the future of this connection. Um, they I think have probably talked to you about commitment or attaining a higher level of commitment depending on the nature of your relationship right now. 
Um, the Queen of Pentacles also really relates to family and especially motherhood. So I think that for some of you, this person probably has talked about like settling down and maybe even starting a family together. That may be something that they've expressed a lot of interest in. And I want to, I, I want to emphasize, um, I want to emphasize this loving, warm kind of energy that I'm getting here because that seems to be the main thing that they are showing you. Um, I'm also getting with this card in the near future that maybe you've been trying to make plans with this person that just have, haven't panned out um, for whatever reason. Like, maybe there's been something that you've been wanting to do. For example, if this is like a long distance thing, maybe you've been making plans to actually see each other, but it keeps getting pushed back. Or maybe you've been talking about getting engaged or getting married, but it keeps getting pushed back um, by various things. And as a result of that, you might be feeling like, this person, you know, even though they're showing you a lot of love and they're showing you a lot of interest and a lot of optimism for the future of this relationship and, you know, interest in taking things further, you might be feeling like they're kind of unmotivated to actually do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Three of Pentacles typically is about teamwork. It's like working together to build something up. Um, when it's in the reverse position, however, it can indicate a lack of motivation, a lack of effort. So, you know, it, it might seem to you, uh, this person might be coming across to you as unmotivated or maybe a little bit lazy when it comes to your relationship, or you might be starting to doubt their sincerity towards you. So let's see what their true feelings and their true intentions are. Um, first we have Yang in the reverse. We have my beloved. It says that we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. And we have the Seven of Cups and the Chariot. And your outcome card is make the effort. So I was just talking with the Three of Pentacles about how you might be feeling like this person isn't putting in as much effort as they should be or could be, um, you know, based on what they are saying to you, what they're expressing towards you. Um, for your outcome, I'm seeing this person actually following through on whatever it is that they've been talking about whatever it is they've been promising, whatever it is they've been, you know, talking about doing that's been continuously put off. So as far as their true feelings and their true intentions, My Beloved is a pretty self-explanatory card. It does show me that the love they're expressing to you, the love they're projecting towards you is real. It is authentic. Um, I think this person feels very, very deeply connected to you. I think this person feels almost like you're a dream come true with the Seven of Cups here. This card has kind of a daydreamy sort of energy to it. It also talks about choice. It talks about having a lot of options to choose from, sometimes not really being sure which one you should take. Uh, and so it can represent some feelings of confusion and uncertainty. Um, I do get the sense that this person wants to take action towards you with the chariot. This is like overcoming obstacles. It's facing adversity. It's also excitement. And it's also, um, it relates to cancer, which is one of the water signs. And water um, is very much associated with feelings. So this card does suggest some pretty strong, deep emotions here um, in this connection. And like I said, it shows me that they want to move towards you. They want to take some action towards you, but they might be uncertain of how they're actually going to be able to achieve whatever it is that they want to do. Um, Yang in the reverse is pretty much 
the, uh, the same thing. In the upright position, it's about taking action. It's about making a choice and sticking to it. When it's reversed, however, it's, uh, it's, it's more of a careful uh, planning kind of energy. It's like you have an action that you want to take, but you need to think about it. You need to think about, is it really a good idea? What's the best way to go about this, etc. So we have these cards here that are showing me a desire to follow through, a desire to make moves towards you, but some uncertainty about how. Um, I think for a lot of you, the main, the main obstacle here is something like physical. So for example, like actual distance, I, I mentioned with this card earlier, um, like if, if you're in a long distance thing, you might have been uh, making plans for some time to meet up and it keeps getting pushed back or it keeps getting delayed. I feel for a lot of you, something of that nature is probably what's going on. Um, just circumstances keep working out, you know, not in your favor. There just, you know, there seems to be a lot of like practical or like logistical issues that need to be remedied or, you know, solved in order for things to move forward the way that they want, the way that they've been talking to you about. Um, like I said, here with your potential outcome card, it does seem to be, um, it is looking very likely that this person is going to find a way to take this action that they are wanting to take. They're going to find a way to make this thing work, whatever it is they're the wanting to do, trying to accomplish here. Um, for some of you, that's going to be actually finding a way to physically get to you, physically see you. For others, it's going to be finding um, a way to like take your relationship to the next level. Uh, whatever the case, whatever the case may be. I see this person putting forth a lot of effort in order to achieve that whatever it is you've been talking about doing whatever it is whatever you know goal that you have for this relationship i see a lot of efforts being made to accomplish that and i do ultimately see that for the vast majority of you there will be success in accomplishing that goal or that you know that that thing you've been talking about the thing you've been waiting for So your, um, your person, for the, for the most part, uh, what they're showing you is the truth. It is authentic. Um, they really do love you a lot. <laughs> they really do want to do, uh, they, they want to take things further. They want to take action towards you. The only thing that's not quite matching up is um, this energy of being unmotivated. Uh, this person, on the contrary, is actually very motivated to achieve this. They're very motivated to move things forward. They're just having a hard time figuring out exactly how they're going to do that. Like I said, there seems to be logistical uh, issues for a lot of you guys in your situations. Um, that they're just trying to... They're just trying to figure out, and they're having a bit of a hard time. So, like, for for some of you, it's money. For some of you, it's, you know, geographical distance. Um, for some of you, it's work. Things like that. Living situations. Those are the types of obstacles that I'm seeing for this. But I see... I see for the majority of you those obstacles being overcome and you and your person finally being able to, you know, move forward together in the direction that you're wanting to go. Okay, so group four, this was a really good reading. Um, it looks like you have a lot to look forward to with this person. So, good luck. <laughs>
um, and try to be, you know, try to have patience because I think your person really is genuine. Um, so that's really all I'm getting for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this reading resonated with you. Take what applies to you in your situation and leave the rest behind. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope I see you next time. Bye.